we're here in Rome and we are just a couple of days before the general elections that are set to be held on September 25th, this coming Sunday. Today we're evaluating how the final polls look. Now the country has been in a period of blackout as far as the polls are concerned for the last couple of weeks, but the final polls did indicate a strong majority for the coalition of the right. All three of the major parties there, Forza Italia, Lega and Fratelli d'Italia, are set to get more than 45% of the national vote. If you compare that to how the center-left are polling, that is PD and its allies uh, in the left coalition, that puts them at around 18 to 19 percentage points lead. Now, this is significant because it could actually be the biggest lead ever in history for the right versus the center-left. Even if you go back to 2001, in the time of Mr. Berlusconi, the lead of the right versus the left then was only around 14 to 15 percentage points. Also significant and worth watching out for is how well the right-wing coalition actually do on the day of the elections, because some people are saying that they could end up with something called a supermajority, which means they end up getting two-thirds of the seats in both the upper and the lower house. Significant because it means that this right-wing coalition could actually go about changing the constitution without going down the referendum route. One other thing to watch out for is turnout. Uh, analysts are expecting a lower turnout than we got in the 2018 election, which sat at 72.9 percentage points. People are expecting a turnout of anything between 65 to 68 percentage points, and namely because younger voters do not seem as mobilized. This is one of the reasons why so much of the campaign has played out on social media. You have political party leaders doing lots of TikTok videos in an attempt to appeal to the younger voters as well. A final thought that has been very common amongst the discussion about what may happen out of September 25th elections. Remember, the Italian government has a history of changing very frequently. So one major theme going forward is whether this coalition of the right can actually hold it together and last the full five years until the next scheduled general election. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.